Hi, I'm Shelley Wood and this is my tiny sewing room where I make doll clothes sewing videos. Today I'm going to show you how to sew a lace and rickrack trimmed skirt for 17 inch dolls like this endless hair Princess Barbie. There's a list of the dolls that fit in this skirt on my website Shellywood.com. Please go to Shellywood.com to download this free two-part skirt pattern. There's a link in the description below this video that will help you find the pattern. Use my pattern to cut out a long strip of fabric. Hem the bottom of the skirt by folding once and then a second time. Then sew along this edge to create a hem. Okay, so you'll notice I'm using my sewing machine, but you could sew it by hand, and if so, I would use a whip stitch. So you could also stitch this by hand. Now your skirt looks like this. It's a good idea to use a matching thread color. Create a casing on the long edge opposite of the hemmed edge. Fold the fabric once and then a second time, but the second fold needs to be a little deeper. So I'm going to fold it just like I would for a hem, and then I'm going to fold it a little bit deeper so that I can get elastic through that casing. Sew along the bottom edge of your casing, which is what you see me doing here. Attach Rick Rack along the hem on the right side. My Rick Rack is a half inch or 12.7 millimeters wide. You could use smaller or bigger Rick Rack, but the overall appearance will be a little different than mine. So here I am attaching Rick Rack. I'm just cutting it to fit. Lay it over the hem on the fabric's right side, sew it on following the hem's stitching. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of following over the top of where I've hemmed. It's nice if your Rick Rack has a little bit of an edge. Trim off any extra Rick Rack. I've always got a bin full of lace like this, and I found a white lace that matched the fabric nicely and I made sure that I had enough to fit along the edge of that hem. Longer lace gives it a different look than shorter lace or eyelet trim might. Here's a colored fringe that I might have used. But eventually I chose this one and a half inch lace. Pin your lace along the hem's edge and you'll notice I'm pinning it on the wrong side of the skirt. Okay, we want to sew it to the hem on the back side of the hem. I leave the extra lace kind of hanging off the edge and I remove my straight pins as I sew it in place. And that's what you see me doing here. So I kind of, it looks a little choppy because I'm taking out those straight pins before my needle gets to it. Now you can trim off that extra lace. And I actually use the extra lace for other projects because I do things for Barbie. Well, little Barbies, I mean. Measure and cut elastic to fit your doll's waist. Attach a safety pin to one end of the elastic. Send your elastic through the casing you've made. You'll need a straight pin on each side to hold the elastic in place. You don't want it to slip back into the casing. 
So here's my elastic. I've attached a straight pin and I send it through the casing. And when I get to the end of the elastic, I make sure that my straight pin goes all the way through the elastic and then back out the other side. Now fold your skirt in half like this. Keep right sides together. So that means the pretty side of the fabric touches the pretty side of the fabric. I bring my straight pins together and my lace together. Stitch from the waist at the top of the garment. It's best to stitch over the elastic like two or three times to keep it stable. And then stitch along the raw edge of the fabric and end your stitches at the hem. In this next video clip, you're just seeing me making that stitch from the elastic to the hem. Now, once you reach the hem, remove the pins from the elastic's edges. Now, I like to use a needle and thread, especially white thread, whenever I'm doing lace but you could use a sewing machine too. I just think it's a little hard on the lace sometimes. Now your skirt looks like this. Invert the skirt, turn it right side out, like you see me doing here. This is such a cute one. And now you're ready to try it on your doll. For more free printable sewing patterns to fit dolls of many shapes and all different sizes, please remember to visit my website, ShellyWood.com. What if there was an easy way to take a big doll pattern and resize it to fit a little doll, or vice versa? I'm Shelley Wood, the doll clothing designer, and in my pattern alteration class, I'm going to share with you my resizing formula. Pattern alteration is when you take a pattern that you already own and you make changes to it. Let's say a dress doesn't fit your doll quite right. I'll show you how to create a gusset to extend the dress's bodice. Along the same lines, I'll show you how to use a doll's body measurements to lengthen and shorten shirt sleeves and to recreate the pants patterns you already own so they will fit dolls of different shapes and sizes. Following my instructions, you'll learn how to reshape dresses and skirts, making them fuller or less full depending on the look you're going for. With this collection of more than 40 videos, you'll use my measurement guide and dozens of tips and tricks to create a full wardrobe for the dollar dolls of your choice. I invite you to join me. We are going to have so much fun.